I'm in London, got my beef from London. Ice sky, no stones, no Chanel, Saint Laurent, Gucci bag, huh? Sabina, I'm from Moscow, Russia. All right, teacher Sabina, what is your favorite day of the week? Friday. Your favorite color? Emerald and black. Who is your favorite actor and actress? No favorite act actress, but my, oh my God, there are so many awesome actors, but my favorite ones are Al Pacino and Tom Hanks. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Friday with Chris Tucker and Ice Cube. And but now I'm watching a documentary that which is called Hip Hop Evolution and I'm loving it so much. This is so exciting and interesting. If you could have one superpower, what would that be? Teleportation. For sure. <laughs> Teacher Sabina, what is the biggest misconception about you? Mm, this is a good question. Uh, when, okay, I guess when people see me first time, they think I'm harmless, but I can punch right on the face anyone who's messing with me, even my family or friends. The serious criminal mind. <laughs> so teacher Sabina, you're a teacher. Why did you become a teacher? Okay, here's a little confession. I've always wanted to be a neurosurgeon. I was crazy about it, but it didn't happen. Okay, long story short. Uh, when I started teaching first, I thought I was not cut out for this, but then when I started to get the results of my students and when I realized how much I was loving this. And so now I can't imagine my life without teaching. So that's my calling for sure. I am loving every minute of it. I'm enjoying every minute of it. I love my job. English is a global international language. Why do you think it's important to learn? English, learning English, uh, being able to speak English, you are able to travel all around the world, to communicate all around the world. Our English can give you so many opportunities. English can open so many doors in front of you. So I don't want to, no, I don't want to live in the world where I can't speak English. No. What are your favorite words in Oh, my favorite, damn. Uh, neurosurgery, <laughs> zest, for reals, and slay. How about your two favorite idioms? Mm, lesson in disguise, and one more. Cross the bridge when you come to it. Love this. Okay, teacher Sabina, I'm your student. Listen, please give me tips, suggestions to improve my English. Hey, congratulations. You decided to learn English. And now, tip number one. You gotta find out what works best for you because there are so many you know, ways out there. And you gotta know your body clock because if you, well, I'm not a modern person, so I'm not able to, I don't know, my mind is just not able to get up early in the morning to start learning or teaching, so that's not me. Evening, in the afternoon, welcome. So you gotta know your body clock. Another tip is, well, our, the goals, you gotta get yourself the goals. And the most important one is the atmosphere. You gotta create an atmosphere in which you're feeling comfortable and you wanna learn and you are enjoying this process. 
What's the best thing that you liked about teaching? The results of my students and their feedbacks. I, and I love when I see them happy, when they achieve their goals and they're super happy. If someone wants to become a teacher in the future, what advice would you give them? Um, don't teach if you don't like it. Be crazy and passionate and please watch what you're doing and what you're saying because you might hurt uh, your students, especially when you're teaching children. So be careful. How can I improve my confidence? Um, here is my solid tip. Okay, can I say solid? Well, um, you can't improve your confidence or you can't believe in yourself if you don't take it, an action. So push yourself to take an action. Teacher Sabina, Teacher Sabina, I'm shy, I'm shy. How can I overcome my shyness? Mm, this is really related. And as I said, you gotta take an action because if you're not taking action, you don't know what you're capable of. And you gotta get out of your comfort zone. Because, you know, from my observations, most of the time people don't give a damn what you're saying. Like, they're so busy with their own stuff, with their own problems. And so it's just all in your head. Get out and take an action. What are your thoughts on fluency versus accent? Fluency and pronunciation are really, really important. But accents, come on, man, there are so many accents. Like, imagine the English speaking world. There are so many accents. Which one do you mean? What are you talking about? Now, you're the owner of a school. What have you learned from that experience? Um. It's been really short experience, just two months for now. But I've learned that you, if you want to challenge yourself, so challenge yourself because working hard, challenging yourself, you, you're just making your dreams come true. And this is really great. This is giving you the energy, the enthusiasm to keep going to move forward and i'm loving this now if memory serves me correct you love rap music how can rap music improve your english and who are some of your favorite rap artists um this is one of my favorite questions i guess because rap music is my passion rap music is my obsession my inspirations you know all that jazz i love it because this is how i started learning english this is how my journey began a rap music helped me with the intonation i improved my intonation really good because i was just repeating after rap artists, are mostly Eminem, or Tupac, Big Sean, and Tupac is one of my favorite rap, rap artists. So I love learning the lyrics. What have you learned about yourself by being on social media? I've learned not to compare myself to others, but that's basically but you taught me that, teacher will. So, yes, so thank you. And I'm grateful that I met you on Instagram, on social media. What do you like about social media? And what don't you like, if anything? I like that I'm able to help and to share my experience, to get the feedback saying that my posts are helpful and they are loving them 
I guess there were not so many things that I dislike about being on social media. Maybe I was spending too much time <laughs> on it. <laughs> What's a video that you've always wanted to make but you haven't had the chance? <laughs> A video of a bad teacher. <laughs> I'm still trying. No, oh, I haven't done it. Or time to do it yet. What does the word insight mean to you? I love the way it sounds. First of all, it is so beautiful the way it sounds. Uh, insight mean well to me. The word insight means perception, um, awareness, seeing, being able to see something within and deep understanding. Um, what else? The wisdom. So if you want, you just can't get the, the beauty of English language if you don't get the insight. So I'm loving it. You this question please be honest i won't listen i won't listen how would you describe teacher will wise the one who inspires others um super caring charismatic mm, super creative classy and the one who encourages everyone and just gives super positive vibes all the time. We love you, Teacher Will. All right, Teacher Sabina, last comments, final words of wisdom. The floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Teacher Will. I, Teacher Will, thank you so much for inviting me to this amazing project of yours. I truly enjoyed taking this video i truly enjoyed being a part of it and thank you so much for always finding the time to help to encourage us to inspire and i really appreciate your hard work your dedication i love everything what you're doing your videos your instagram lives thank you for sharing with us your experience and this enthusiasm Aaron I'm just loving this thank you so much and for the people uh, the final words this is guys we learn together thank you teacher will and be yourself stay authentic and keep it 100